。好，咁第五条呢，就讲啦，唔同嘅动物呢，都会制造不同类型嘅麦芽糖酶呢，去消化麦芽糖嘅 maltose。而佢哋所製造嘅麥芽糖酶咧，都有唔同嘅 molecular size 嗰個分子嘅大細啊。咁就問翻你啦，下面邊一個有關於呢個麥芽糖酶咧係正確嘅？咁其實上一年咧都已經問過有關於酶嘅特性啊，不過嗰年咧就慘淡啲，得十八個 percent 嘅同學答啱。咁所以咧，通常咧嗰一年答得好差嘅咧，下一年都會照出嘅，就係睇下咧嗰啲同學咧有冇温下書啊嘛。咁唔好以為上年出咗嘅題目咧，今年會唔出嚇？上年考得差嘅咧，今年更加會再出嘅。咁啊，成條題目啦，都係咧想考下我哋啦，有關於酶呢嗰個專一嘅獨特性啊。而呢句説話呢，正正就係一六年嗰條 M C 呢抽出嚟嘅，就係話啦，係多過一款專一嘅酶啦，就去催化同一個反應嘅。其實正正就係啦，就係、是、唔同動物都會產生唔同類型嘅芽糖酶，但係其實呢啲芽糖酶都係攞嚟消化芽糖嘅啫。咁用返我哋人體做例子啦，口水嘅澱粉酶同埋胰液嘅澱粉酶呢，其實佢哋嘅 active site。都係會好專一地咧，同呢個澱粉嘅分子咧去黐埋一齊嘅。咁所以答案咧都已經出咗嚟噶啦，就係、是、咧，即使佢哋係唔同生物所製造嘅麥芽糖酶啦，佢哋嘅 active s i t 都應該係有相似嘅形狀嘅。咁但係啦，有啲體育精神啦，搞掂埋 B、C、D 佢，點解佢會錯啦？咁 B 佢就話啦，唔同嘅麥芽糖酶呢，佢哋嗰個氨基酸嘅排序呢係一樣嘅。如果佢哋嘅排序一樣嘅話呢，佢哋個 molecular size 應該都係一樣嘅。但係而家題目話俾你聽係不同啊嘛，咁即係有啲分別嘅。咁所以佢哋 amino acid sequence 應該就不是一樣啦。跟住到 C 呢，佢哋有同一個嘅最適合嘅温度。咁但係 optimum temperature 呢，其實係唔能夠話俾我哋聽呢。呢兩隻酶究竟係有幾咁似或者幾咁唔似嘅，因為有好多酶呢，佢哋嗰個最佳温度係差唔多嘅，咁你就冇得話一個蛋白酶。同一個澱粉酶，佢哋嗰個類型係好相近噶嘛？嚟喺我哋身體負責消化嘅蛋白酶同埋呢個澱粉酶，咁佢哋都喺我哋嘅人體體温咧都做得唔錯噶嘛？但我哋唔可以話呢兩隻酶係一樣噶嘛？跟住去到 D 啦，佢哋咧有一樣嘅立體嘅結構。呢句説話錯就錯在太過籠統啦。你話啦，如果呢兩款嘅麥芽糖酶佢哋有相似，甚至乎係一樣嘅。誒活性位置嘅立體形狀呢係可以嘅，但係佢唔一定係成個 M s 都係有一模一樣嘅立體結構㗎嘛。咁所以啦 ，B、C、D 呢，原來呢都係錯嘅。Question number five is still the MSI question. It's given that different animals produce different maltase to digest the maltose, and the maltase produced have different molecular sizes. So, which of the following description of these maltases is correct? Last year, there was also a MSI question asking about the MSI characteristic, and there were only eighty percent of students got it correct. What if last year there is only small number of students got it correct in a certain question? There will be a higher chance for The HKEAA to set the similar question again of that particular topic, and for the concept checking in this question is about the specificity characteristic of the M side, and for this statement is extracted in two o one six question. There could be more than one specific M side to catalyze the same reaction. We use the human body as an example. The active site of the salivary amylase and the pancreatic amylase they are both specific to bind with the starch molecules. So that's why if they are all the maltase, so they should bind to the maltose. So that's why option A will be the answer. The active sites have similar shape because they need to bind to the maltose, right? But what about B, C, D? Why they are wrong? So for the option B, amino acid sequences are the same. So this statement is wrong because if the amino acid sequences are the same in different maltases, so the M size they should have the same molecular sizes. But the question is talking about they have different molecular sizes, so that's why option B is wrong. And for option C, they have the same optimum temperature. This statement is also wrong because the optimum temperature may be a misleading parameter in M size characteristic. For example, in our human body, we have the amylase, we have the protease working in condition of human body temperature. They can still work well, but we cannot say that all、oh, the amylase, the protease, they work in the same temperature. So that's why they are the same M size. We cannot draw such conclusion. So option C is also wrong. And for option D, they have the same three D structures. It Is too general. Over generalize the case. The maltases they may have the same or similar three D structure of the active site, but it's not necessary for the maltase have the same three D structure for the whole M side molecules. So option D is also wrong, and the answer is A.